The Sassanid Empire, 224 to 651 CE, also known as the Sasanian or Neo-Persian Empire, was the last great Persian Empire before the Islamic conquests, and it marked a high point of ancient Iranian civilization. Founded by Ardashir I after overthrowing the Parthian Ars Acid dynasty, the Sassanid state saw itself as the true heir of the Achaemenid Empire and sought to revive many of its administrative and cultural traditions. The empire was centralized and hierarchical, with the Shahanshah, king of kings, wielding immense power at the top. A powerful nobility, often hereditary, supported the monarchy, alongside a class of Zoroastrian clergy who held substantial influence. Provincial governors, called Sharabs, ruled regions semi-autonomously but under the authority of the central government. Culturally, the Sassanids presided over a rich and cosmopolitan society. Zoroastrianism was the official state religion and deeply intertwined with the state apparatus, though other faiths such as Christianity, Judaism, Buddhism, and later Manichaeism were also present within the empire's diverse population. The court promoted Persian art, architecture, and literature, with grand palaces, rock reliefs, and intricate metalwork reflecting both religious themes and royal grandeur. The primary language of the empire was Middle Persian, Pahlavi, which was used in administration, religious texts, and inscriptions. This language, written in a script derived from Aramaic, played a vital role in preserving Iranian culture and ideas, even after the fall of the Sassanid state. The empire also developed a sophisticated bureaucracy and road system, facilitating communication and trade across a territory that stretched from Mesopotamia to parts of India and Central Asia. For this video, I've prepared two Sassanid era genomes from Bahrain. I ran them through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis to analyze their genetic traits and QP admixture to determine their ethnic breakdown. These Sasanians are very heavy in ANF ancestry and their genetic profile resembles Jewish and Levantine populations most closely. In terms of deeper admixture, they're very high in Zudzwana-like ancestry and fit in among Jews and Cypriots with my custom Paleolithic Oracle. Let's start with the first sample. He is predicted to have light eyes, light brown hair, olive skin tone, wavy hair, and a Greek nose shape. He was a warrior, had high odds of autism, was lactose intolerant, had lower empathy, low odds of obesity, and decisively blood type B. He scored high for risk of PCOS, rheumatoid arthritis, epilepsy, male pattern baldness, and polycythemia vera. He scored low for odds of testicular cancer, prostate cancer, type 2 diabetes, schizophrenia, bipolar type 1, myopia, and erythema nodosum. He carried rare risk variants for celiac disease, familial hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, familial thoracic aortic aneurysm, and Brugada syndrome. Now, let's move on to the second sample, who is female. She is predicted to have brown eyes, black hair, olive skin, wavy hair, and a Greek nose shape. She was a worrier, had average odds of autism, was lactose intolerant, had lower empathy, intermediate odds of obesity, and decisively blood type O. She scored high for odds of AMD, rheumatoid arthritis, leukemia, type 2 diabetes, and polycythemia vera. She scored low for odds of Alzheimer's, schizophrenia, bipolar type 1, stroke, exfoliation glaucoma, and gout. She carried rare risk variants for Fabry disease and pseudoaryl sulfatase A deficiency. You can purchase both their genomes from link in the description. In the description, you will also find links to Andre DNA products and services. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.